Rio Tinto Stadium in Sandy, Utah, the site for tonight's pivotal Western Conference clash between Real Salt Lake and the Portland Timbers right here on the NBC Sports Network. I'm Alvaro Sabrio. In just 12 games this season, Sabrio has nine goals to assist. You give him time, you give him space, Sabrio will punish you inside the 18-yard box. Big news, Darlington Nagby, who is usually on that right-hand side tonight, he's on the left. Seven goals, three assists on the season. He's going to love to cut in with that right foot. He'll play underneath Ryan Johnson. Fans are ready for this one. We are as well on the NBC Sports Network. The experienced Toledo blowing the whistle. And we'll be underway. Real Salt Lake with the ball. It's Javi Morales. Who is going to control the rhythm of this game? Unbeaten in their last couple of games. They don't play again until their game at Seattle on September 13th. Squared to Beckerman. It's coming through to Gill. The shot. Gill with a goal. Real Salt Lake leads. Real Salt Lake doing what they do best, and it's just movement off the ball. Combination play. Javier Morales finds Kyle Beckman. One touch tap. Flick in ball from Jao Plata, and Luis Gill gets in behind Rodney Wallace, and that is a well, well taken goal from Luis Gill. Plata and Beckerman had assists on the goal by Gill. Sabaril going outside. Morales, Beltran, defended by Nagby. Back to Javi Morales. Grab a boy in the middle. Got it forward. Plata cutting on Baptiste in front. Off the post and in. A goal by Jean Plata. 2 nothing. RSL. Jao Plata plays a big part in this goal because he started as the outlet in the midfield, pulls himself out in an isolated one-on-one -on -one position, and then Andrew Jean Baptiste exposed, isolated. It starts with a good first touch. It's a positive touch forward, step over, opens it up to his left, and then goes back across Donovan Ricketts. Ned Grabovoy gets his head up early ball, and then look, with no outside right back, Jao Plata is isolated with essentially now is a right marking back in Jean Baptiste. They're going to have to make a change. And that is that will be a huge, huge loss for the Portland Timbers. We're not aware of any problem he had coming into the game. Here's Harrington. Full speed ahead. For the MLS veteran into the middle for Nagby. The shot taken. Rob Romano and in. The Timbers are back in it. What a shot from Nagby. It's his eighth goal of the season. Game on. Something you don't see often, Donnie Romando appear to get a piece, but not all. Well, Harrington builds up on the left-hand side, finds Nagby. Look at the time and space, and from that distance, you might feel all right, but Nagby, that ball kind of cuts away from Nick Romando at the last second. No immediate pressure. He likes it. He likes it. Winger pulls off to stay with the run. Nobody steps up, and that is a well, well-taken goal from Darlington, Darlington Nagby to pull one back. Rallis in a counter. But he won out of time. Pata, Morales, Sabrio made his run, but it was blocked. Nice job by Zemanski. And then the whistle and the foul and a yellow. Oh, it's red. It's a red card to Zemanski. Caleb Porter is livid on the Timbers bench. From up here, Brian Dunsap. It didn't seem like a red from down there, did it? We'll see the replay anyway. He does a good job fighting through with Javier Morales, but as he goes through, where the referee is going to look at is the tackle. He starts low, and as he lifts his leg up, that's where the contact goes through. Plata drives in. Ricketts changed his mind. Off the post and in. What a terrific goal. That's the goal of the week. Javi Morales. A 
I'll keep an eye on Javier Morales right at the back of the six, and he's just completely unmarked, but phenomenal. Phenomenal skill check right there from Javier Morales. As that ball skips through and he settles, gives himself a bicycle kick opportunity, perfectly executed. Xiao Plata <laughs> celebrating in the corner. Free kick, Morales inside the header, goal! Samuel came flashing through. A good quality swung in ball from Javier Morales and Alvaro Sabarillo beats his marker, Andrew Jean-Baptiste, gets to the front of the six-yard box, rise it up, snap header down. With Valeri pulling up with an injury, an abductor strain, we were later told, that really changed their offensive formation and their plans of attack. And you throw in Will Johnson, Pamu Duka. That's uh, two gigantic, gigantic players for the Portland Timbers that were unavailable tonight for head coach Caleb Porter. Zizzo, Wallace, Valencia, shoots it, puts it away, big rebound, big goal for Zal Zizzo. Terrific shot by Valencia. I thought he was going to score on that one. And a juicy rebound for Zizzo. Gives the Timbers some life. They never go away. Well, JP, we talked about that man, Jose Adolfo Valencia, when he came in to start the second half. And you want to keep an eye on this young player if you're an MLS fan. He's got size, he's got strength, he's got technique, and he gets all of that ball. Give credit to Salzizo. Following up the play, he stays in an onside position in the body of your screen. It'll be Chris Winger right there. Salcedo keeps him on as well. From two teams that are also very, very strong defensively. Well, that's been a little bit of the tweak. Real Salt Lake this year is they're scoring a lot more goals, but they're also giving up plenty of goals as well. That's one of the balances that they're trying to figure out as they head into the playoffs. Velasquez. Oh, Morales is open. For Samarillo! Goal! Flags up again. So waved off. Well, that slight little touch to his chest, he was apologizing to Javier Morales that he pulled himself into an offside position. The fans don't like it. The assistant referee wasted no time whatsoever. Javier Morales finding time and finding space unmarked and Sabrio points. Right there. Yeah. yeah, I think it's the right call. It is. Alves Powell, the outside right back, just needs to be careful. You see that slight hesitation? He wasn't paying attention. Well, the Merrill Toledo's look at the watch. It'll be a true three minutes. That's it. Game over. Real Salt Lake. Get their 14th win of the season. Three more points in the standings to separate themselves from the Portland Timbers by nine points.